Across the corners of the world, tucked away in remote villages and thriving metropolises, lie culinary experiences that challenge our comfort zones. From a cheese teeming with live maggots in Italy, a Korean dish of still wriggling octopus tentacles, to a jellied moose nose savored in Alaska and Canada. Cultures near and far have given birth to dishes that may look like they belong in a science fiction movie rather than on our plates. And then there's the Philippines, where they relish ballot, a duck egg with a partially formed embryo inside, offering a mix of rich flavors and unique textures. And if that doesn't intrigue you enough, you might want to try kiwi, a whole roasted guinea pig from Ecuador, or perhaps the nutty, buttery taste of ant eggs sautéed to perfection in Mexico. But the adventure doesn't stop there, my friends. From fermented seabirds buried within a seal skin in the icy lands of Greenland to the translucent duck embryos of Vietnam and the thousand-year-old eggs of China, these exotic dishes just keep getting more and more interesting. Last and certainly not least, we have brain curry from India, delicately cooked in a flavorful sauce. But hold on, the biggest curiosity, the piece de resistance of all these dishes is. Ah, well, you'll find out soon enough. Stay tuned and keep your taste buds ready for a culinary adventure like no other. What's up my amazing and curious folks? Ready to unravel some tantalizing mysteries today? I'm glad you're here. I'm your host, Caesar, and with me is the witty and ever-insightful Sonia. We're here to take you on another adventure on the Curiosity Wonderland. Hi there, folks. So excited to be here and dive into today's curiosity with all of you. That's the spirit, Sonia. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on our daily explorations. Now, without further ado, let's get started. As I was reading about these alien-like foods, it reminded me of a recent experience. Just last week, I was at this local international food festival, and they had a stall serving up some truly exotic dishes. One of them was this cheese that had a peculiar texture and flavor. Turns out it was none other than kesu marzu. I must admit, the sight of little white worms wriggling in the cheese was, well, let's say it was quite a shock. But once I got past the initial surprise, I have to tell you, the taste was unlike anything I've ever had before. Creamy, pungent, and with a slight kick to it. Definitely an experience to remember. Coincidentally, I also had a similar encounter. I was at a Korean restaurant, and they had this dish called sanachi. Now, I'm usually up for trying new dishes, but when they served it and I saw the octopus tentacles still wriggling on the plate. I must admit, it took me a moment to gather my courage. But the sensory adventure was truly something else. The suction cups attaching to the tongue, the slight crunch when chewed, it was like a sci-fi movie coming to life. Those are the kinds of experiences that make our world so fascinating. The things that make you pause, question, and then dive right into the unknown. They might be uncomfortable at first, but they leave you with stories to tell, much like these alien-like foods we're exploring today. Moving on to our next alien-like food. It's a special egg, but not just any egg, it's a ballad egg from the Philippines. Now, this one is quite interesting, and maybe a little startling for some. It's a fertilized duck egg that's been allowed to develop for a while before it's cooked and eaten. You actually find a partially formed duck embryo when you crack open the shell, including feathers, beak, and sometimes even tiny bones. But despite its surprising appearance, it's a cultural and culinary tradition in the Philippines and many locals love it for its rich, savory flavors and unique textures. Now, imagine this, a dish that looks like it might just scurry off your plate. Welcome to Ecuador, where they serve kiwi, or as you might know it, roasted guinea pig. Yes, you heard that right, a whole guinea pig, complete with crispy skin and tiny claws. Though it might seem quite alien to some, it's a delicacy with a unique flavor profile in the Andes region of South America. This just goes to show that our world is an amalgamation of unique and diverse tastes, isn't it? Dishes that seem alien to some are delicacies to others. Food, in many ways, transcends the boundaries of our understanding and opens up a world of new experiences, tastes, and textures. What are your thoughts, dear listeners? Does this trigger your culinary curiosity or makes you a tad squeamish? Remember, life is full of surprises. Who knows, you might find your new favorite dish in the most unexpected places. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And while you're at it, if you're enjoying the show, don't forget to hit the like button. Let's head north to Alaska and Canada, where a certain dish known as jellied moose nose could make you feel like you've stepped into an intergalactic kitchen. 
This dish is prepared by making the mousse's nose tender and then setting it in a savory gelatin. The outcome is a translucent, quivering mass with pieces of mousse nose suspended within. It's an intriguing sight and a testament to the resourcefulness of indigenous peoples who utilize every part of the animals they hunt. Can you give us a bit more context around this kind of use what you hunt philosophy? I mean, I've heard of using every part of an animal, but this seems to take it to another level. Yes, of course. It's not just about utilizing the meat, but also the organs, the bones, and even in this case, the nose. In many cultures, it's seen as respectful to the animal to use every part that can be eaten or used in some way. For example, in Native American cultures, not only the meat but even the bones, hide, and internal organs are used. The bones can be turned into tools, the hide can be used to create clothing or for shelter, and the organs are consumed because they're often rich in nutrients. Now, from the chilly landscapes of the north, let's journey down to warmer climes, specifically Mexico, where we find Eskimos, or as they are often referred to, insect caviar. But these are not fish eggs. No, these are ant larvae, specifically from the black ant species Lyometapum apiculatum. They're harvested from the roots of agave and maguey plants and are considered a delicacy in Mexican cuisine. Hold on, ant larvae? As in those tiny insects? I can't even begin to imagine what that tastes like. Any chance you could give me an idea? Well, Eskimos are often described as having a nutty, slightly buttery flavor with a hint of earthiness. Their texture is a unique combination of creamy and somewhat crunchy. Think of how caviar bursts in your mouth, releasing its flavorful liquid. Now, replace that sea-flavored liquid with a nutty, earthy flavor, and you'll get a rough idea of what Eskimos taste like. They're eaten in many ways sautéed with butter, garlic, and spices or added to tacos, omelets, and soups. It's truly a culinary experience. We're now venturing into the remote landscapes of Greenland, where we encounter kiviak, a dish that epitomizes the concept of food preservation. Imagine this, hundreds of small seabirds, typically ox, are stuffed into a hollowed-out seal skin. This seal skin pouch is then closed with grease and buried underground for several months. This fermentation process creates a delicacy that's aromatic and boldly flavored. It's not for the faint-hearted, as it has a strong, almost gamey scent, and the flavor combines sour, salty, and umami notes. So, from the chilly Arctic environment, let's now fly to the tropical climate of Vietnam, where we encounter hot vit lan, another delicacy involving duck embryos, quite similar to ballot. The twist here is that instead of being boiled, the duck embryos are steamed. The resulting dish offers a unique visual presentation, the partially developed ducklings are clearly visible, suspended in their translucent chambers. The taste is rich and savory, with a complex combination of creamy and chewy textures. And finally, we make our way to China, home to the pidden eggs, also known as century eggs or thousand-year eggs. Despite their name, these eggs aren't centuries old. They're duck, chicken, or quail eggs preserved using a unique method. The eggs are coated in a mixture of clay, ash, salt, quicklime, and rice straw for a period ranging from several weeks to several months. This preservation technique gives them their distinctive appearance and is a testament to Chinese culinary innovation. Continuing our journey, let's return to the fascinating pitten eggs of China. After the preservation process, the eggs reveal a gelatinous, translucent egg white that has taken on a deep amber or even greenish-black hue. The yolk, on the other hand, becomes creamy, resembling a custard-like texture. As for the flavor, it's complex, with subtle hints of sulfur and ammonia. While this flavor profile may not be for everyone, there's no denying that pitten eggs are a beloved culinary adventure in China. They are often featured in traditional dishes, like kanji and century egg tofu. A true testament to the rich culinary heritage of the country. And finally, our gastronomic journey takes us to India, home to the exotic brain curry. Just as the name suggests, this dish comprises the brains of various animals, usually goats or sheep, cooked in a flavorful curry sauce. The brains, when cooked, take on an incredibly soft and delicate texture, quite similar to a custard-like filling. The richness of the aromatic curry sauce adds depth and complexity to this delicacy. Brain curry truly reflects the diverse and adventurous nature of Indian cuisine, showcasing the skillful use of spices and flavors India is renowned for. For those willing to step outside their culinary comfort zone, this dish offers a unique and rich taste. Tender brain matter and bold curry spices come together to create a sensory experience beyond the ordinary. And that, folks, is our culinary journey around the world, exploring 10 alien-like foods. 
From the maggot-infested Kesu Marza cheese of Sardinia, to the live-writhing Sinachi octopus of Korea, the developmentally complex ballot from the Philippines, and the crispy roasted kiwi of Ecuador. We've delved into the jellied musnos of Alaska and Canada, the buttery Eskimos from Mexico, and the fermented kibiak from Greenland. We've even explored the translucent hot vitlan from Vietnam, the aged pitten eggs from China, and the creamy brain curry from India. It's a vast world out there with countless culinary adventures to embark on. Remember, it might look alien, but the taste, well, that's another story. That's right, it's been a wild ride, hasn't it? We hope you've enjoyed this gastronomic tour and perhaps even feel a little intrigued to try some of these dishes. If you enjoyed today's episode, do us a favor and blast that like button. Leave your comments and share this episode with your food-loving friends. Yes, it's been a pleasure sharing these culinary adventures with you. Stay curious, stay hungry, and keep exploring the unknown. Don't forget to tune in to our next episode of Curiosity Wonderland for more exciting topics. Until then, take care everyone. Jones, goodbye. I discovered this fascinating culinary journey in an article titled 10 Exotic Foods That Look Like Aliens by John Munoz, published on Listverse on October 26, 2023. If you're interested, the full URL is in the video description for you to delve deeper into the subject. Now, I'm off.